Potassium permanganate is an oxidizing agent with disinfectant, deodorizing and astringent properties. It is sometimes referred to as Condis crystals. In its raw state, it is an odorless dark purple crystal or granular powder. With the high oxidizing property, this chemical is still used on a small scale for water purification. It conveniently removes magnesium and iron from the water, helping remove the rusts in water equipment and pipes. Potassium permanganate can also be diluted into a very weak solution for treating certain skin conditions as well as washing fruits and vegetables, minimizing the possibilities of cholera and other water-associated diseases. When applied to the affected area, it kills germs by releasing oxygen when it interacts with compounds in your skin. In today's video, I'll share 7 skin conditions that potassium permanganate can help treat, how to use it, the side effects and precautions. Let's dive in. Hello and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to achieve an optimal state of health within your mind and body with a little help from Mother Nature, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss any future uploads. 1. Infected Eczema if you have eczema with blisters, potassium permanganate can help dry them out. It is used as a short-term measure in the treatment of weeping eczema, usually under the supervision of a dermatologist. 2. Open and blistering wounds Potassium permanganate can also be applied topically as a wet dressing for wounds on your skin that are blistered or oozing pus. 3. Athlete's foot 4. Empatigo 5. Acne 6. Blistering leg ulcers 7. Acute cellulitis of the legs How to use potassium permanganate Before applying potassium permanganate to your skin, it must be diluted in water first, as an undiluted solution may cause burns. A solution is made by dissolving crystals or powder in water aiming to get a 1 in 10,000 solution, making a concentration of 0.01%. Potassium permanganate tablets can also be used. These are usually available in 400mg tablets. To give you an example of ratio, you can dissolve a 400mg tablet in 4 litres of water. The potassium permanganate solution should be a pink colour. Make sure you end up with a pink or even light pink solution and not purple. Even with dilution, it may still irritate the skin. Discontinue use and consult with your doctor if you experience any irritation. Here are some guidelines on how to use potassium permanganate for skin conditions. Note that the same concentration of one part in 10,000 applies to all conditions. For infected eczema, make sure to achieve a pale pink solution. Pour it into a bowl or a container of your preference and soak the affected area for 10 to 15 minutes, after which time a steroid ointment can be applied if necessary. For superficial wounds, apply the solution to a bandage and place it over your wound. Change the bandage 2-3 to three times daily. For impetigo, gently apply the solution directly to the affected areas to remove loose bits of skin. For athlete's foot and more severe infections, soak your foot in the solution every 8 hours. Another alternative to soaking the affected area is to soak a gauze dressing in the solution and apply it to your skin for 10 minutes. Depending on your condition and how severe it is, your doctor may instruct you to create a stronger solution with a dilution of 1 part in 7000 or 0.014%. This will create a slightly darker pink liquid. If it irritates your skin or causes redness, discontinue use immediately and seek advice from your doctor. Side effects and precautions Potassium permanganate is generally safe, however, adverse side effects such as skin irritation and redness may be experienced. This is because the crystals and concentrated solutions are caustic and can burn the skin, even diluted solutions. Make sure the crystals or tablets are fully dissolved in water before starting the treatment. If you notice redness or irritation, discontinue use and notify your doctor. Potassium permanganate is for external use only and should not be swallowed. Due to its strong pigmentation, it will dye just about anything it comes into contact with. 
so it may leave a brown stain on your skin and nails, which should fade within a day or two. You can apply soft paraffin to your nails before treatment to minimize the staining. It could also leave a stain in your bathtub and sink that is hard to remove, which is why it is recommended to use it in a basin. This medication is not suitable for dry skin conditions and should only be used if clearly needed during pregnancy. Breastfeeding in pregnant women should discuss with a doctor before using this treatment. Are you a health nut? Join the Health Nut Hour today, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notification and I'll keep you updated on future videos. See you in the next one.